Hi. Okay, I'm having a glitch. I'm having a glitch. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's Aaron. Twenty uh, second of February. Twenty twenty four. Eight p.m. Um, in the UK, where I am. I just watched this really powerful live video by Mella of Higher Vibrations on YouTube. She was only on for a few minutes and I'm so glad I got it. Because she was just being real, you know, real on camera. And this is where it's at. This is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. It's okay, isn't it? For us to be feeling all this stuff. It's okay to be having a really, really hard time. It's okay to be uh, identified with it at times, you know? What's, what's important, I think, right now is to hold on to the faith side of things. Faith of that this is going in a positive direction, you know, for us all. So all this intensity that we're feeling. Like, oh my God, my anxiety has been so strong today. So strong. And I was out in an unfamiliar place. I was um, travelling alone on public transport. You know, this is all outside of my comfort zone. I, w I was walking into a room full of people I didn't know that had they had all met each other before um i did mean i did know one of them you know like but I was walking into a situation i wasn't comfortable with i was traveling i wasn't comfortable with that i was traveling through it M my town which i ha hardly ever go in my town it's been years since i've been in my town alone you know like and it's all changed, everything's different, all the bus stops are in different places, the, some of the roads are closed, and, you know, it's just, like, way, way out of my comfort zone, and my anxiety was so high. But it was just anxiety coming in, you know, like... I can have all these reasons for the anxiety, but the, the anxiety's just there, and there's... all these reports about solar radiation and flares and whatever else, you know, like... And then we're all going through this thing on this planet right now together where all this really heavy shit keeps going down. And all of the stuff that we're plugged into, social media and the news and whatever it might be, you know, for you or for me. Like it's all doom and gloom and drama and war. War, war on a, a big scale and war, war on a small scale in our communities, you know? So we're gonna feel it. We're feeling it, we're all feeling it. This is happening, you know? Like there's nothing we've done wrong. There's nothing that's, you know, gone wrong that we have to fix in inside of us. Like the feelings we're having are passing through. You know, like, I, I, I like, I like to say, oh, it's a bit crude, right? It's a little bit crude. But, you know, I don't care. Like, it's true. It's like we don't beat ourselves up when we need to go to the toilet, do we? We go. We let it pass through. And we don't analyse it. Well, we don't, do we? It passes through and we don't need to know exactly what was going on with that. You know, we don't need to go delving into it, do we? Unless there's something. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is falling apart, right? But, like, we don't need to know. We don't need to get involved in it. It's just something we do until it's gone. 
And that's what this is, isn't it? And, you know, maybe our magical thinking in our spiritual community, our healing, is not necessarily... Us. This is us talking with a friend tonight, a lovely friend. And we've both got our things, haven't we? We all have, right? I've got my stuff that's diagnosed. You know, my disabilities, air quotes. I've got that stuff. I've got some pain in my body. I've got stuff going on. My friend's got stuff going on that's just completely changed her life in the last year or three years. Certainly in the last few years since I've met her. Her life's completely changed and her ability to live her life. And, you know, we're both saying how we're so fed up of being expected to fix it through spiritual practice over and over and over again. And the pressure we put on ourselves to heal. And the pressure that we receive from the outside world to heal. Whether it's through sort of spiritual community or like through the medical system, the, psych the psych psychiatric system. You know, like the last time I spoke with someone in the psychiatric system... She was telling me that I wasn't doing enough. And I'm, I, know, I know I'm doing everything I can. I know I am. But f to her, it wasn't enough. And it's played on my mind ever since, and it's nearly a year ago now that I met this person. The way we judge each other is so strong we don't need it it doesn't help but maybe maybe there's a reason maybe there is a reason that we're experiencing this stuff maybe it's just out of our hands maybe healing is coming maybe it isn't what we're gonna do in the meantime are we just going to deny it, try and paper over the cracks, try and fix it with the latest modality we've heard about or read about, the latest miracle pill? Or are we going to learn to love ourselves through that experience, not in spite of it, not because of it, but through it. Because it's just happening. And if we've got stories about it, that's fine too. I loved what she was saying. I was so grateful to hear what she was saying. I, st I picked up my phone at exactly the right time. to go on that live, to listen. To hold space for her, you know? She was crying on camera and sharing what she was going through. It's so powerful. That's what healing is. It's not all these endless spiritual platitudes and theories and concepts when we don't really know anything here we don't know anything I'm so tired of it I want to be in the world I don't want to be pretend I don't want to pretend that I'm better than the world I don't want to be one of these spiritual e egomaniacs I've, I've tried that I tried following people's teachings and that's where that goes. There's always a higher power. We never have control. We're here to receive. That's what creating's about. 
If you want to call it manifestation, that's fine. We're not even calling it in, it's coming. It's coming anyway. Maybe we can say no, maybe we can say yes. Maybe we're just choosing. Maybe we're simply choosing something that's coming already. We can give ourselves a break. I've tried to manifest healing inside of myself. And there is healing coming, but it's not on my schedule. It's not up to me. My job is to look after myself. My job is to feel. My job is to listen to me. I don't even watch, I don't even pay attention to these reports, these energy reports. I do watch them sometimes, you know? Some of them are useful. But it doesn't help the feeling. It doesn't help us feel. Feeling is feeling. Like maybe, maybe it's helpful to know that this might be coming, it might be super intense tonight or tomorrow or this month or whatever. But it's just so much data out there. It's too much because, I mean, I've... I've heard about flares and whatever else and astrology and all this stuff and I've not experienced what they're saying. You know, we're all individuals. Maybe there's something coming in that isn't really my work. So I'm just bracing myself for a storm that isn't coming for me. But my storm will be on a different day. But we are all going through this together. And I think the most valuable thing we can do is just hold space. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I feel you. I feel what you're feeling. They're the people I want to talk to. They're the people I feel safe with. I don't feel safe around people that want to fix me. I don't feel safe around people that want to talk. All this advice. All this advice that seems to suggest. Maybe somewhat subtly. Or maybe like really obviously. Suggesting that I'm not enough and that I've not done enough. That I've made some terrible mistake. In the way I'm behaving, thinking, in my spiritual practice. None of us has done anything wrong in this way. You know, we're not hurting people. We're not hurting ourselves. We're having an experience, an experience that we're feeling in our bodies that we're experiencing in our minds and we can't just click our fingers and make it stop. I'd love that. <laughs> I'd love to do that. But maybe if I was able to do that, I wouldn't be here at all. We came here to feel it. Those of us who feel. Oh gosh. I made a video like that once. It was called Those of Us Who Feel. Those of us who feel. So if you're not meant to feel, if you're a person who doesn't feel in the way that we feel, that's good for you. You know, we all have different roles. I'm here to feel. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but it doesn't matter for this video. 
right? I'm done. Thank you, higher vibrations. Thank you, Mela, for being real. Thank you for anyone else who's being real out there because it's you that I want to listen to. It's you that has got my attention. Bye.